Today, a prominent lawyer came forward saying he intends to file more than 100 different lawsuits from alleged victims. Busby says the victims include both Given men and women, cases, and he says some of them were cases. minors. Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. Now, over the past couple of years, Diddy has gone away with a lot of accusation, a lot of lawsuits as it came towards him, but he threw money at them and hissed at them, told them stay away, and just like we covered it last month, Diddy got arrested in New York for federal charges, three major charges. And Diddy and Mark, who's Diddy's lawyer, they've been through a lot of milestones. So they told each other, this is just another, you know, step that we're, we have to go through. This is just a piece of cake. Do not worry, Diddy. I got you, but make sure you have my invitation for the next Diddy party, please. Even Diddy's lawyer appeared for detention, seeking release from jail ahead of trial. So when Diddy got arrested the first day, he offered $50 million for Bond to get released you know, from jail before his trial starts. And the second time he offered as well, but it was denied. And now they're going for the third time. They're just not giving up. There's no way they're going to plead guilty in the situation. And they said that they're going to fight to their last breath until they prove their innocence. Because according to Mark, that he's a family man respected in the industry. How dare you? Un unacceptable. They told themselves that third time is the charm. They put their hands together. They said, we are one team and we will get through us. On three, we say baby oil. One. Two, before they get to three, they get hit with that shatak of something that Diddy cannot actually recover from. I truly believe there's no recovery after this. After 120 new accusers came forward and brought a lawsuit against Diddy, which according to the attorney that's representing them, they have videos, they have text, they have evidence. That is it. This is this is a wrap for Diddy's party. This is the stamp. This is the nail in the coffin. So according to the lawyer that's representing these people, lawyer said that more than 3,000 individuals have, have come forward to his office with accusations against comms and that he plans to begin filing lawsuits in various states within the next 30 days. He added that they will name the other defendants at a later date. So yes, according to the attorney, one Diddy party ends, another Diddy party starts, and there will be new names of the people who attended and participated in these illegal activities. Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. We have an individual who was 14 years old. We have one who was 15. 25 of the 120 individuals who are plaintiffs in these cases were minors at the time of the acts complained of. And he says there's evidence to prove it. You should know that more than 55% of the victims filed reports, reported this conduct to either the authorities, that is the police, or to hospitals. Now the charges that is being brought against Diddy in this situation and other accomplices as well, there's Many, many people involved, according to the attorney, that they have evidence of which they're later going to just drop the bomb and just shoot out names to the public. So prepare yourself for the chance of seeing your idol being in a Diddy party doing illegal shit because the charges that's being brought against them, I'm not going to be saying them. You can find them online, but they're very, very disturbing, very extremely illegal and disgusting and out of the 3,000 people they verified 120 of them and they decided to come forward with this 120 and 25 of them being minors in an interview that this attorney went and gave out to et like literally yesterday he said some truly disturbing stuff a few a few just kind of give you a sense of the kind of cases and the kind of instances that people are calling and reporting that we are trying to corroborate that uh, and these are the ones that we've already corroborated, vetted, and collected evidence on. Now, this individual who was nine years old at the time uh, was uh, taken to a audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Uh, other boys were there to audition as well. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. Uh, this individual was allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio uh, in the promise uh, to both his parents and uh, to him himself of getting a record deal. Um, another instance, another minor, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed a visit with him in private about it, away from uh, his parents. Once uh, they were in a private area, 
allegedly Mr. Combs made uh, the victim uh, perform oral sex upon him. Uh, another incident, uh, an individual 15 years old at the time flown uh, to New York City to attend a party, uh, was drugged and then taken into a private room, uh, allegedly in the presence of Mr. Combs, uh, where this uh, female individual minor was and then other individuals took turns. So it is no longer about why does he have so much baby oil, now it is the fact that who did he use his baby oil on. With the amount of things I've heard about Diddy over the past literally couple of months, women, grandmas, now minors, men, women, gmail, shemails, everything. At this point, I believe even if you give a donkey to Diddy, he's going to put baby oil on it, he's going to warm it up and put his cucumber inside. Now, it is serious enough that he's been doing these horrible things to adults, but when minors come forward to this, when a YouTuber 2024 behavior enters the chat, this is just takes it to the next level and there is no recovery from it. The reason the lawyer, attorney, everyone's saying allegedly, did I say allegedly because it is allegedly, is because they're saving it for to build their case even stronger and they're going to drop the bombshell later on. At this point, they say allegedly, even though they have all the evidence, footages, videos, tapes, whatever it is, they have it, but they're, they're waiting to just surprise the whole internet and just counter strike attack Diddy when he least expected it and obviously he said to the internet as well that the majority of these people who came forward out of the 3000 they've contacted the, uh, the police they even tried to bring a lawsuit against diddy but most of them were also afraid to go against diddy by themselves but now as they come together like one avenger cannot defeat the whole evil mr uh, snap finger if they want to defeat baby old thanos they all need to come together and they only to they'll be much stronger together and they will have a chance to go through with this and give Diddy what he deserves. Now I hate to break it to Mark Diddy's attorney. You will no longer be invited to the parties or maybe if you haven't, you will never attend the parties like Diddy promised you if you win the case. Because that's it. And what did uh, Mark respond? Mr. Diddy's uh, legal team respond to this whole thing. They said that his legal team said that Diddy, he cannot address every meritless allegation in what has come in a reckless media circus that said mr combs empathetically and categorically denies as false and def defamatory any claim that he you know did this 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 to including minors did his lawyer eric wolf also said in a statement he looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in a court if he when he claims are filed and served where the truth will be established based on evidence not speculation so did he still playing the dumb game saying me no what wait what did his party was all filled with flaws and we were dabbing nothing illegal happened everything they're saying is an absolute lie and they said that they look forward to proving their innocence now the only way i think diddy will have a chance that you know he will only serve 30 to 40 years in prison and he will get out is he if he throws every single person he goes full snitch mode throws every single person under the bus fucking names half of hollywood and just half of hollywood gets arrested that is when he has a small chance of getting out in this situation but at the same time courts can be very complicated we don't know what's going to happen in the court did his legal team their confidence that he's going to be winning the case but at the same time you know 120 people confirm evidence that diddy did these things to them including minors are coming forward so it's a full-on shit show but if i had to bet my money on i believe that diddy is just full of shit and he's just trying to lie his way out of it when, and when the 25 minors they came forward and they said that back then like in throughout the whole like two decades these things happen to them it would be a lie if i say i'm shocked because producers directors the amount of stories that i've heard over the past couple years that goes on in hollywood are you a good actor well i have a perfect opportunity for you in a very very this will be your big break in a very large movie but first how is your gaga -ga game your golden ticket is right here all i need is 30 seconds and you'll be you know just the biggest in the industry or whatever it is it's a very dirty place hollywood and with diddy's past allegations i thought he did these these things only to adults but now finding out about minors just 
adds more disgust to the whole image of Diddy, honestly. But anyways, let's see what uh, comes forward. There's going to be definitely more videos about Diddy coming forward. As you know, he said, the attorney said that there are going to be names involved. I can't wait to see whose name is involved. Fucking Oprah jumps in. We, we don't know what's going to happen, but I am all for it. Just prepare yourself for big gasp and big nose. No, he was my favorite actor. I can't believe he would ever do this. He was my favorite rapper as there's going to be new names dropping forward. Before I go, I forgot to mention that according to a 30-year-old man who was back in 1999, six years old who attended as a guest in Diddy's party, he decided to join the Diddy party trial and said that he came to one of Diddy's party with his mom and said that he recalled X-rated events where he saw everything. Basically, topless woman in the pool. He didn't say that any shakalaka bomb bomb was happening right in front of him but he said that diddy was there to high five them and those topless woman drinks and the mother of the child also said that there were bottles everywhere naked woman i wasn't sure if it was appropriate or normal i wondered about how kids were allowed into the party to begin with now this is not one of those situations where oh nowadays people are so soft back then it was normal you know dark humor jokes whatever jokes you want to make this is nothing like that this is a six-year-old who walked into a topless party apparently the security guard never stopped the kid and say no kids allowed they just let them all in and kids were apparently allowed they didn't recall any other kids i honestly don't know who to blame in this situation the mother or diddy but this just this whole situation is just pretty pretty messed up anyways uh if you're new here like subscribe if you enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care easy i will see you at the next one